Okay, we're ready next to work on number two here in our PQ method menu, which is to enter, Q enter. So we're gonna enter a two, so click on here first. So we enter our two, and we're gonna get ready to start putting a lot of information in about our study. So it can give us our title. When we do the printout later on, this title will be at the top of the study. It, maxes out at 68 letters so I could say something like Q study with the students in the 2012 Q workshop summer intercession right and I could might be able to put my name in there right hit enter how many Q statements are there well we had 44 statements so we'll put 44 enter the leftmost column value and so behind here i have already placed right kind of hidden a little bit is our q sort folder right or our excel file right and it doesn't let me change the size of this but we can put it down a little bit and here we have what our sorting grid looked like right they were all fours it was a box it started with minus five most unlike my view and went to plus five most like my view so that's what it's asking it wants to know that the leftmost column was in fact minus five doesn't have to be that's just what this is here it says enter the rightmost column value it says eg5 do not put plus five it makes it makes it have a bad head so and we hit enter and now it says enter the number of rows for each column so for instance right <clears throat> Each one of these has four, and you notice that I've written it at the top. So I would have four for minus five, so another four, right? So I'm going to have fours. I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, for those of you who can't do math like me, just because I have a major. So I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It just happens to be what my grid looked like. And we can talk later about why that might be. Right? And now it says that I want, I'm ready to, checking old input data file, enter the title of your study. Oh, no, that's, oh, okay. So now it's truncated a little bit. It says add a new sort. So I haven't, I haven't done anything else. So I want to add a new sort. Right? And it says enter the identification code for sort number one and usually as I do this I write on my paper copies which one is sort one and which one is sort two so right now I'm writing on the printout that I have that this is number one and this person is new to Q methodology a graduate student and female probably like a lot of our people taking sorts so we'll say new and then she's a grad student so we'll put a G and then sex four will have female and she'll be person number one so i'll do underscore one and then i usually write down on here what that person's um id is because then later on right i might want to know something more i want to refer to some of the things that she wrote so that might be really important so i might actually right read a little bit to myself um to see some if there's something else that identifies this person right <clears throat> and this person I believe is a master's degree student so I might put MA now my problem is that I can only have eight letters one two three four five six seven eight so that's not gonna work so I'm just gonna put I'm I'm gonna put an M here after female and then one and so I'll count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So maybe I'll put an underscore, underscore one. So I put another thing in here. So I'll remember that she's maybe a, a master's degree student. And then hit her, enter one. And now it's going to walk me through entering the statements. I need to enter all of the statements as a line. So I have 42. And then I have 10. And then I have 16. And then I have 29. And that's the four statements in that particular column. And I hit enter. 